It is my pleasure to introduce you to this correspondence published on iMeta. The title is Multi-Level Insights into the Immuno-Oncology Microbiome Axis, From Biotechnology to Novel Therapies. The multifaceted interactions among the immune system, cancer cells, and microbial components have established a novel concept of the Immuno-Oncology Microbiome, IOM, axis. Microbiome sequencing technologies have played a pivotal role in not only analyzing how gut microbiota affect local and distant tumors, but also getting unprecedented insights into the intertumor host microbe interactions. Herein, we discuss the emerging trends of transiting from bulk level to single cell and spatial level analyses, moving forward with advances in biotechnology, microbial therapies, including microbiota based therapies and bioengineering inspired mobs, will add diversity to the current oncotherapy paradigm. The advent of single cell and spatial profiling approaches allows for the precise analysis of individual host and microbial cells. In the context of single cell and spatial level profiling, we are able to decipher multimodal host microbe interactomes that has been overlooked in metagenomic sequencing. For example, a. Microbes may attach to and invade tumor cells to affect their immune phenotypes. b. Microbes can produce multiple substances to modulate TME distantly, including metabolites, extracellular vesicles, etc. c. Microbes may act as the third party to break the balance between immune cells and tumor cells by regulating the differentiation and activation of immune cells. Immune checkpoint inhibitors have emerged as key players in reversing immunosuppressive TME. Notwithstanding, the interindividual heterogeneity in therapeutic response among patients restricts the favorable outcomes in a limited population. A deeper look into the underlying causes reveals that microbiota is an unanticipated yet non-negligible element in remodeling local and distant tumor immune responses. Fecal microbiota transplantation, FMT, has shown promise in strengthening the suppressed immune system by restoring microbial homeostasis. Initial explorations of the immunoenhancing effectiveness of FMT primarily focused on melanoma. More recently, research has expanded beyond melanoma to explore its resensitization effects on immunotherapy in gastrointestinal cancers, including gastric cancer, esophageal squamous cell carcinoma, and hepatocellular carcinoma. Current trends in the realm of FMT research can be categorized into technological innovation and procedural standardization. Washed Microbiota Transplantation, WMT, stands as the new method of manual FMT based on the automatic washing process and was released by the consensus statement from the FMT Standardization Study Group in 2019. Washed preparation of fecal microbiota improves the transplantation-related safety, quantitative method, and delivery of microbiota suspension. Restoration of microbiota eubiosis contributes to balance the dysregulated IOM axis. Another microbiota-based therapy is microbial preparations, comprised of probiotics and postbiotics. Their supplementation may also modulate the microbiome cell tumor cell interaction network to augment immunotherapy by reversing the TME from cold to hot. Multiple modification approaches are applied to enable the engineered bacteria to reach the tumor stably and maximize their therapeutic effects. These approaches can be divided into three aspects comprised of protective isolation, targeted navigation, and therapeutic agents. Camouflagic and protective encapsulations prevent bacteria from immunological and biochemical damage in vivo. For targeted navigation, nanoparticles with the capability of sensing magnetic or acoustic signals can be conjugated to the bacterial surface to ensure controllable translocation. The photoreceptor units can be utilized as light-sensing switches to control the bacterial lysis for the release of loaded therapeutic agents, including immune-enhancing agents, radiosensitizers, and chemotherapeutic ingredients. Moving forward, we should be wary of the translational bottlenecks arising from poorly regulated technical commercialization. The classification differences of microbiota-based therapies among multiple countries underscore more comprehensive investigations on the IOM axis. Accordingly, collaboration among researchers, clinicians, regulators, and industry stakeholders is essential to advance microbiome profiling technologies and microbiota-based therapies from bench to bedside potentially revolutionizing tumor diagnosis and treatment in the upcoming decades.